My Seesaw tip for today is to create a tutorial class that you can post your videos and anchor charts to and then reuse from year to year. When you create this tutorial class, you won't archive it, so those tutorials will be able to be shared with different teachers and classrooms throughout the year. When I start a tutorial, I use Keynote or PowerPoint to create the slides that I'm going to use in my video. Each slide has something that I'm going to be talking about and writing on in the video. I use my camera app from the iPad to do the videoing of my tutorials. I can then upload that video to my Seesaw Tutorial class and share that with a link to my other classrooms. So I can open up any of my classes that I feel like that tutorial would be helpful to uh, just by clicking that edit and share and copying the link and sending that link to that class. When you copy the link in a Seesaw class, it automatically puts that link to your Seesaw video into the new class that you're sharing it with. Then I just add an extra caption to the video to let the students know what the video tutorial is going to be on. Then I go in and choose if I'm going to send it to individual students or if I'm going to share it with the entire class. Creating a folder marked as tutorials is also very helpful in allowing students to go back and figure out where those tutorials have been listed. Once I'm done with that, I now have the ability to share that link with classes and teachers throughout my building. That's my quick tip for Seesaw Tutorial Classes. Join me on social media for more shares. I love connecting to share the learning.